Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. Chinese President Xi Jinping arrived in oil-rich Trinidad and Tobago late on Friday for the first leg of a Latin America and Caribbean tour aiming to strengthen Beijing's trade ties in the region. She kicked off his trip in the tiny English-speaking country off Venezuela before heading to Costa Rica yesterday and then Mexico on Tuesday ahead of a summit later in the week with U.S. President Barack Obama at the Sunnylands Estate in California. The visit is the first by a Chinese president to the English-speaking Caribbean, but not for Xi Jinping, who visited in 2009 and 2011 while serving as China's vice president. The first stop is said to emphasize China's attempt to both secure fresh energy sources and reach out to developing countries. Xi Jinping appears to be trying to demonstrate China's increasingly close economic and political ties with other countries on their way up. His first overseas trip as president in March was to Russia, Tanzania, South Africa and the Republic of Congo. China has also been pouring aid and investment into the Caribbean over the last decade as part of a long-term strategy to cultivate diplomatic support at the United Nations and to establish a strategic foothold in parts of the world long dominated by the West. The U.S. government, meanwhile, extended a downward trend in aid to Latin America and the Caribbean in its 2013 budget proposal, calling for $1.7 billion in assistance, a drop of 9 percent from last year and 11 percent lower than 2011. China's president has offered concessionary loans to nine Caribbean countries, totaling some $3 billion. The loans would be earmarked for infrastructure and development projects across the Caribbean. During his stay in Trinidad, she also announced that China was awarding a $250 million loan to build a children's hospital. The Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago hailed this as a landmark first visit by a Chinese president to her Caribbean nation of 1.3 million people, a former colony of Britain that broke free in 1962. According to government data, Trinidad, which has vast oil resources as well as natural gas, earns 40 percent of its income from the energy sector, which makes up 80 percent of its exports. China's trade ties with Latin America have surged in recent years as the world's second biggest economy taps into the region's mineral and oil wealth to fuel its own growth. Trade between the two countries has been growing, with figures from the International Monetary Fund suggesting it has gone up from 174 to 450 million dollars over the last six years. The three-day visit to Trinidad and Tobago is designed to help China get access to fresh supplies of liquefied natural gas, just as a U.S. shale gas boom has left gas exporting nations in the Caribbean looking for alternative markets. As North American demand for natural gas has fallen, Trinidad and Tobago's focus has shifted to Asia, especially with the $5.25 billion Panama Canal expansion scheduled to be completed next year, altogether which is shaking up global energy markets. Xi Jinping's second stop in Costa Rica is another place where China's economic and diplomatic influence has been growing especially in the six years since Costa Rica formally recognized the Beijing government. She arrives with a portfolio full of economic aid projects to consolidate China's relationship with Costa Rica and to entice other Central American countries that still maintain diplomatic relations with Taiwan. China and Costa Rica signed a free trade agreement that came into effect in 2011 and the two countries have discussed expanding a Costa Rican oil refinery with Chinese help in what would be a multi-billion dollar project mostly financed by China Development Bank, China's so-called Superbank. Tomorrow we'll discuss Xi Jinping's visit to Mexico, Latin America's second largest economy, where tensions have risen since China emerged as an export powerhouse, undermining Mexico's previous advantage. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more in Economic Insight.